It's a great day with that dark stuff filling up my favorite cup. How you call feeling? How you call feeling? How you call feeling now? Yeah. Uh, hey, I just got done walking the dog in the rain in the morning. Wow. And so nice to get some partic participation, precipitation out here in the mountains. Been a very dry already spring. And, you know, after a walk in the rain in the morning, what else better than for a cup of coffee? And so that's what I'm looking forward to now. And I will be trying out Culinary Tours Sumatra Blend. And so, again, very generic looking, and so I picked this up at Ridley's Markets. They're a smaller chain of grocery stores out there, uh, seem to be in uh, more so in towns than cities, uh, and so had a wide variety, I figured, of different coffee I might not encounter elsewhere, and so yes, this is Culinary Tour Sumatra Blend. It's described as rich and full-bodied with bright and earthy tones with a velvety finish, a medium dark roast, too. A velvety finish. I think we all would like to drape ourselves in velvet if it were socially acceptable. And uh, so I sometimes these descriptions, you know, earthy tones, like we live on earth. Everything is an earthy tone, one would believe. And, uh, you know, not a Jupitery tone, which... Well, we're talking about coffee, you know, Jupiter tone, but we're not dealing with a white woman talking to us about astrology. So, what to know more about culinary tours based off the back? We bring the world to your kitchen table with carefully selected food inspired by flavors from across the globe or across the road. Every product we share is connected to a culture, cuisine, recipe, or story. Join us and discover culinary tours. Sounds as generic as you would expect, and again, it's distributed by Topco Associates in Elk Grove Village, Illinois. feel like I've had coffee distributed by this group before and under a branding of similar kind of generic experience. Um, so whatever, a Sumatra bun, nice tiger there. So yeah, they're covering all their bases and us feeling like we're about to head to Sumatra, I guess. So let's go ahead and try this medium dark roast from Culinary Tours. Well, hmm. You know, for a medium dark roast priced at $6.99 for that bag, it is actually pretty good. As for its price point, I'm enjoying it smooth. As well as, you know, whether the velvety finish is there, I, I guess. Oh man, the earthy tones. I feel so on earth right now. And, uh, but it, you know, yeah, it just feels like a solid cup of coffee that where its price point is, is you're getting above, you know, your Folgers and your Maxwell House style, uh, while getting something that if you are a medium or dark roast drinker, provides you that bit of a punch you're looking for by drinking that kind of coffee. So, shockingly, uh, I had my biases towards culinary uh, world, what's it called? Culinary tours. I almost called it culinary roast and also culinary world, whatever. Culinary tours. Let's feel like Rick Steves, I guess, and we're enjoying uh, this cup of coffee, so it is solid if you happen to see it there. Again, if you noticed, uh, no um, organic labeling, fair trade, Nothing along those lines, and this is what you'll usually find with um, this price point. Um, just either they don't care, or obviously the level of uh, money involved to get that designation not in their interests and in their bottom line. So be it. But uh, again, if you enjoy coffee, looking at this price point just needs something to put into your body that tastes solid and won't uh, break your wallet or purse in half. And uh, yeah, Culinary Tours Sumatra Blend, uh, surprisingly solid. So, to answer the question, how you call feeling? Uh, I'm feeling Earth. How you call feeling now?